Okay, here's the last part of this, quadratic regression. So in this instance, I'm going to be given a, a set of data, a collection of points, as you see on the left-hand side. When I graph that as a scatter plot, it kind of looks like a parabola. Now, maybe not every single point lies on the parabola, but maybe it's pretty close. And we're going to have our calculator come up with the best fitting quadratic model that's going to go through all of those. That's called quadratic regression. Now, we're not going to use the three the three methods that we talked about before with the vertex form or the intercept form or the standard form. Instead, I have a collection of points that may not be exactly on a parabola, but we're finding a parabola that does a really good job of going through most of the data. Really, really close. Okay, so this first one that we're going to practice this on has to do with launching pumpkins. Take a look. A pumpkin tossing contest is held each year in Morton, Illinois, true story, where people compete to see whose catapult's going to send the pumpkins the furthest. Uh, one catapult launches pumpkins from 25 feet above the ground at a speed of 125 feet per second. Wow. Now, we don't have to come up with the equation for that. Um, using those little physics models. Instead, I have this collection of data down here at the bottom. So in this table, I'm getting feet, this is the y-coordinate, the distance, horizontal distance, the pumpkins travel when launched at different angles. So x value are the different angles, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So we're going to use a calculator, find the best fitting quadratic model for it, and then try to figure out what angle should the pumpkin travel the farthest. Well, if I look at the set of data and I look at the trend, it's in increasing, increasing, but then starting to decrease. So I would anticipate the maximum someplace right in here, okay? Someplace right in here. I don't know if it is occurring on this side of the 40 or on this side of the 40. Not quite sure. So we're going to see with our calculator and then using that quadratic model. So I'm going to forward this so that I can get a nice blank slate here, but still keep in the data and then call up the calculator for us. Okay, so step one whenever we do this is to put all of our data into the calculator. Turn this on, clear this out, and I do that by going to this stat menu. So click the stat key, and the first one I want just says edit. So in list one, we're gonna put all of our X values, which for us are the angle measurements. So just type them in, hit enter along the way. Um, after I get them in, then I'm going to scroll over to L2. Under L2, I'm going to put the Y's in, and all of the Y's are the distances. All right, it's always a good idea to double check your numbers because you're depending upon the calculator to do all of this work for you. Make sure you didn't make a typo. I think I think I'm good. Okay. Uh, the next thing is I need to quit out of this. And now let's just go ahead. That was second mode for quit. Let's go ahead and do a scatter plot for this so we can see what it looks like. So scatter plot is second y equals. And I'm just going to turn the first one on. So hit enter. And then I need to turn it on if it's not already on. All right. The first type right there defaults to the scatter plot, and that's what we want. We want the x values to come to L1 and the y values to come from L2, so that defaults to exactly what I want it to be. Now, instead of hitting graph, I'm going to go to zoom, and I'm going to choose zoom stat. Zoom stat looks at the data that is in the stat menu and chooses a perfect window for it. I believe it's number nine. Whoa, look at all these in here. So zoom stat is, I just passed it right there, nine. All right, and I look at that data. It looks pretty much like a parabola. All right, the next step is let's get that parabola that's going to go through those points. Okay, so I go back to the stat menu. Now, not under edit this time, I'm going to scroll over to the calc, which is the calculate menu, where we're going to do all our math. Which one are we going to choose? Look like a parabola, so we're going to choose quad reg, which stands for quadratic regression. Hit enter, 
Now, your screen may not look like this if you have the older calculator. Afterwards, you would type in L1, comma, L2, comma, and then if you wanted to store it, you would store that as Y1. I can do all of this from this little menu. So I'm just going to scroll down here to Store, Regression Equation, and I'm going to type in Y1. So to get Y1, it's under a VARS menu, which stands for Variables. This is a Y VAR, so I'm going to scroll over to Y VARS. And function is probably the only one you've ever heard of, so hit Enter, and there's Y1. Okay, now I'm just going to scroll down here to calculate. It'll calculate it for me, and there's my equation. So let's just go ahead and round off our numbers maybe to the nearest tenth place. Okay? So give me a second as I write this down. So y is equal to... negative 0.26x squared plus 22.6x plus 23.0. Okay, now we we have to talk about maximizing this. What is the best angle? The best angle is going to come from the max value. Where do we get the max value? We get that at the vertex. So let me pull the graph back up again. Okay, and let's go back to the graph and see exactly what I'm talking about here. So the max value is going to occur right around in here. We just need to find that um, x value for the vertex. Well, when our equation's in standard form, we could just use this formula. x is equal to negative b over 2a. So my b is negative 2, 2.6 divided by 2 times negative 0.26. Mm, numbers calculator. And when I do this, I get about 43 degrees. And if I look right in here, I could see 43 degrees. That's where the maximum is occurring. And that does make sense with the table of values. OK. So why don't you go ahead and practice this. Practice this on this drama club t-shirt question on exercise 10. So you are finding the, the quadratic equation for it, and you're finding what is the best price for that t-shirt. So what was the cost, the best cost of the drama club's t-shirt? Did you get? $12.35? You should have. Hmm, $12.35. That sounds reasonable. So here's the equation that you should get whenever you perform your quadratic regression. I'm not going to read that off to you because you can see it right there. Um, however, we're getting that $12.35 after we find the equation. We're trying to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, the negative b over 2a. So, would you spend $12.35 on a t-shirt? Not a bad price. But that 35 cents, really? Like I carry 35 cents around. Maybe I had $13 and then they're gonna have to make change. Anyway, so this wraps up this lesson. Writing quadratic functions and models. If I have a collection of points or if I have a picture of a graph, how do I write the equation for that? So I had uh, three methods, basically. If I have, say, the vertex plus one other point, then I can use the vertex form. If I have the two x-intercepts plus another point, I can use the x, uh, the intercept form. And then finally, if I have three random points that are on there, then I'm going to put those into the standard form. And then uh, I'll have a system of equations that I'm going to solve with my calculator. The last one is I have a collection of data. I'm going to put that into the calculator, perform a quadratic regression on it to come up with the equation. And that's it. Take a look at this assignment. I want to call your attention to something. It says, begin your search for digital images of parabolas, IRL, in real life. So you're going to Google some images of parabolas in real life. So things that you could try to Google are maybe parabolas in architecture, parabolas in bridges, things like that. That's where you often see parabolas where people make them. Now, whenever you get this picture, 
make sure your search options are set to something like medium or large. Don't get a tiny one, okay? And the next thing is you want a straight on view of this parabola. You don't want it from a perspective, a side view, because you won't be able to fit a graph on that, uh, fit the quadratic model on it. Because what we're going to do is going to open up those pictures, and jump to your sketch pad, and then you're going to come up with the equation for that parabola. Okay? Make sure you get a couple of these things, because what if one doesn't work? I would suggest saving them to a little flash drive, um, and if you don't have one of those, maybe you could just email them to yourself so that you can open them up here at school. Speaking of school, I'll see you there.